At the time in the United States, in North America, more than 150 schools were showing performances of this play, so I brought the book. At that time, I attended a class taught by a PhD from the history department. The instructor did not talk about the play, The Vagina Monologues, during class, but the lectures dealt with how women regard their own bodies and the relationships of the body, a woman's identity, and herself. Since I'm a literature professor, I looked at a lot of this information from the perspective of literature. From this class, I could really learn a lot about culture and history interlinked with literature. I myself paid special attention to how literature and art represent women and that how they think about the female subject. After I came back, I talked to my students about feminist art. I brought various volumes of books of paintings back with me and spoke of these works. I felt that my students, especially female students, were really interested in this topic since our curriculum does not include experiences like this, women's bodily experiences. We had not really thought about what we could put on our own experience, put on our own performance. Really, we had not given this any thought. Last year, Bu Wei saw several performances in China. She also hoped that we might be able to participate in the V-Day campaign, the worldwide campaign of performing the vagina monologues. These performances, which occurred from February 14th to March 8th, had already developed into worldwide phenomena. 